Hey everyone, I'm Teach Pine. We're back to Take on Mars. I already sent down a new rover, it's a copy of the last one, and drove uh, yeah, drove over here from there so um, to take the rest of the pictures. So first these, and now we have to drive over there somewhere. Oh, there's an atmosphere thingy, so let's drive over there actually. and maybe take pictures in the process. I think we need to take pictures from the crater. So maybe we can do this from over there somewhere. Um, I think my wheels are a little bit broken again. They blockade from time to time. As you can see in the hut down in, uh, at, the, at the bottom. They're not moving always correctly and so it's a little bit, a little bit slow. Um, No, I think we will take the pictures afterwards. Um, yeah, what I wanted to say... What was it? What was it? Um, oh yeah, I tried to put down the physics simulator settings. Let's do it again, actually. Because this uh, increases my performance of the game pretty hard. I get at least... I don't know, 5 to 10 FPS more. But the rover is driving slowly. Uh, slower than with, low uh, with high field physics. So... Um, this will be more annoying. <laughs> and I think it's running okay. It's not high, it doesn't have 5 FPS right now. Um, especially after closing the option menu. Okay, now it's back to 15. Um, while recording, but I think it's okay. Uh, and it will be, it will improve when the, I get my new laptop. Which should be in 2 to 3 days. Yeah. Not days, but videos for you. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, we will take the pictures from over there somewhere. Should be a good spot. Okay, let's see. How uh, to get in there? Uh, I hope I don't break any wheels. Driving over these rocks. They look a little bit dangerous. Oh, by the way, change the. Uh, oops. Change the instrument to ES. Okay, carefully. Well, that worked decent enough. And go. Yeah, well, when we will turn over there and um, take the pictures, and then the mission should be complete. Maybe there's one more analyzing thing or something. And then we will check out the next mission and probably build the next rover. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Very nice picture. And let's try take what we get. Rock formation near Victoria. Major tasks complete. Our estimates are that Victoria crater must be hundreds of millions of years old. Well, that's old. Even though inside of the crater are visible rock layers, material that was during the impact even rejected outside over the top layers has been smoothed and worn flat. Wind plays a major role in these area erosion processes. It moves dust and sand across large areas, and these particles can with time wear down and polish any rocks in their path. Yep. Well, the last one looks a little bit tricky. Let's see. There it is. Okay, I hope I don't have to drive anywhere with this rover, because 
there's a good chance as I'm that I'm stuck. Well, actually not. Nice. But um, mission is complete, I think. Yep. Sign nearest. Oh, maybe that was dumb. Um. Oops. Oh, you can. Oh, you can turn off the. Cool. Hmm. We could drive over there. Probably. Let's actually do that to save some money. Uh, maybe I will do this off camera. Not even sure if I can do all the tasks. Let's let's check that first. Explore. Okay, we don't know if you can do it because the mission is explore, and we will probably have to do stuff afterwards. Mm. Okay, let's bring us out here, and then if we're on the good way over there, we. Well, in the video, I will drive to rest with off the camera and and yeah, come back later when we're at the target location. Doobie doobie doo. Okay, now my FPS are pretty low. It's really hard to drive uphill with this thing. From time to time, or it works most of the times, but pretty slow. Yeah. Well, good job, interest too. I didn't rename it. I forgot. I always forget it. It should ask you before. That would that would be a cool feature. It's not not as important as the uh, physics settings bug, uh, yeah, fix, and what was the other thing? Um. Oh yeah, the management of your rover layouts. But a cool feature would be to have a pop-up go up when you start a new vehicle, which asks you for the name of it. I think that would be a good idea. So, let's see. This doesn't look too bad. Four points of interest, 300 meters away. Where's our station? Can we reach that? Yeah, we should be able to reach that. It's in 500 meter range, so no problem. At least as long as our wheels are driving, uh, turning. Do, do, do. Floating rocks, floating rocks over there. Oops, that's the wrong direction. Wanted to turn a little bit. Uh, wasn't a silly idea to turn. I should not turn while I'm facing backwards. <laughs> not a good idea. Yeah, you should not do this uh, with the real car anyway. You should not even drive forward while you're looking backward. Okay, yeah, a little bit, but <laughs> you know what I mean. You should not do this. Dooby dooby doo. We only can do this because A, this is a computer game, and B, we're driving with one meter per second or something. And there are no other moving objects. This is a pretty rocky landscape, but there should be a good path through it, so I don't think this drive will be that interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, that's actually end video. It's a short one, but it's not too interesting how I'm driving over there. So how I drive over there. So um, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. Have fun, and see you next time when we're exploring these four points of interest.